Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so let's watch your work on Wednesday. This is going to be a quick video because we got a lot of stuff to do today. <laughs> so, <laughs> the baby's in the background. She'll probably come in here now that I'm talking. But I wanted to show progress on two of my whips that you've already seen a million times because I'm taking forever to finish anything. <laughs> but, uh, and then we got a lot of errands to run today. So, yeah. And this is also going to count as my first day of... Now the truck went by. This is going to be counted as my first day of the 100 day project. I decided that I'm going to do it too. Kayla from Llama Mama Kayla talked about it. And now a lot of people joining in. And I thought it would be fun to do it. Try to do it. So I'm going to do mine here on YouTube. I'm going to try to do 100 days of videos. Even if some days they might be like really quick. A minute or two minute long updates. So I'll start off. Do you see? see? Hi. You want to come sit with me? You see her walking? She's walking in here. <laughs> come here. I, I already have your hot chair right here. I need to come. Come here. Oh, here you would come. There you are. You're almost not in it. My hair's crazy. I didn't brush it. <laughs> Anyways, this is my corner to corner. So I'm using Mandala Baby. And the colorway is called Pixie Hollow. Yes. <laughs> it's really floppy now. I've almost got through all the purple. Well, the dark purple, I guess. But it's about to fall apart. This is my second cake, and I'm decreasing. I'm using a G hook, which is four millimeter. And what are you doing? What are you doing? The stitch marker is where I showed you just the other day. It's Monday, Sunday. But here it is. <laughs> That's all I got left is that corner. So we'll see if this cake is enough to do that. If not, I have an extra cake. So it's all good. I just did from that very first dark purple stitch to here this morning. While you was napping. Oh, you don't want to... Hmm. You want something to play with? You want to play with that? But, so I am making progress on that. I'm going to move my stitch marker so I don't forget. Where am I at? I mean my progress keeper. Yeah. Music outside. They must be doing something at school today. What is today? Wednesday the 22nd. I don't I don't know if that's Dash Wednesday. <laughs> but I don't think they'd be doing anything for that. It must be some kind of uh, pepper alley or something. I don't know. <laughs> do they do those still? Okay. So that's my corner to corner. Gosh, my hair is fluffy today. I gotta put it up. <laughs> uh, my second whip that I'm working on. I got all the crocheting done. I still have to make two pom-poms and I'm going to hot glue some pieces. Oh, you got the cards out of me. That's all right. Um, hot glue some pieces together and do the dots. So it is the Minnie Mouse um, dress from Pamela's Adoring Doll Clothes on her, her uh, Etsy shop is where I purchased it. But uh, it's a, a Pamela's Adoring crochet now. It used to be doll clothes, but she changed it. Uh, she has a YouTube channel too, I'm sure you know. I will link it below. But I got the clothes done. <laughs> so there's the hat. The hat will have a bow on it and the pom-poms to make it look like uh, Mickey Mouse ears. The pattern's actually called Pink Halloween Dress because Minnie Mouse is, you know, a um, licensed thing. But I got the dress on. I love the puffy sleeves. <laughs> and the um, pants are on. And the little shoes. So what I got left to do is I'm going to hot glue the little bows onto the shoes. <laughs> because time and then the hat does have a bow that I crocheted and the hat I mean not the hat the bow and the dress are supposed to have uh, little white dots you know the polka dots of uh, Minnie's dress and I did not want to French knot all of those because I hate doing French knots so um, I grabbed out of our craft supplies some puffy paint that is white and I'm gonna try that I tried it with the bow it's still drying because it takes forever to dry it takes like four hours to dry so I put the dots on the bow. Um, I'm going to let it dry and see how I feel about it. Because I won't be giving these clothes to June until she's much older. Three or four. That's when she'll be getting the doll and the clothes. So um, I don't think she'll mess with them by then. <laughs> so I'm going to try it on the bow and let it dry and see how, it, how well it stays on there. And then if I like it, I'm going to do it to the dress as well. If not, then I will remake the bow. Because it's super simple. And I'll just do French knots even though I don't want to. You see your doll? This is going to be yours in a few years. Yeah, she's cool, isn't she? <laughs> but uh, that's what I'm working on. 
So I did most of the crocheting on that yesterday while I was watching Little House on Prairie. Uh, but I was working on it this morning, and that's when I also did this. So I do got to make the two pom-poms and then put the bows on the shoes, the bow on the hat if I like it when it dries, and the pom-poms on the hat. And then it'll be done except the dots, whichever way I figure out how to do that. I'm hoping the puffy paint works because it's a lot easier than doing a million French knots. But we will see, I guess. And I worked on this a little bit earlier while watching some YouTube videos. I was watching um, Rebecca at Yarn and Pajamas. She was, it was her um, Hooked on Murder podcast. I was watching that and working on that. But yeah, so now I've, I got Sissy all dressed and cleaned up. You can't tell. Oh, I forgot to do her hair. <laughs> I just realized that. I gotta brush her hair and put it up. She woke up from a nap, so her hair's all messed up. And then I gotta get Jessie all ready. And then I gotta get me all ready. I gotta do something with my hair because it's really fuzzy this morning. Um, yeah, and then we gotta run some errands and do all kinds of stuff today that is just, ugh, I don't look forward to it. <laughs> but I'll be glad when today's over. I also have been sewing. I did get some notion pouches done. There's a few of them. <laughs> and I am working on the hook cases. They're all about half done. <laughs> and I was hoping to get my bags up in the shop tomorrow <laughs> but it's not gonna happen because i haven't even started on the drawstring bags uh we ended up being busier this week than i thought we were gonna be but i'm i'm shooting for um maybe saturday sunday monday probably closer to monday <laughs> to get these bags up in the shop and uh but we'll see i don't know um yeah let me see i didn't finish any of these no i got some ready to be turned inside out uh outside right whatever <laughs> but Otherwise, I got a whole stack here that I got to still sew together. And then I got all the drawstring bags. I haven't even, they're cut and ready to go. I just haven't started sewing them yet. So, I will address that. Big old footage just flew by. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, this is technically the first day of the 100 days of videos. Hopefully. But like I said, some of them may, they're, all my yarny videos are going to count. <laughs> and uh, I might throw some vlogs in there. And some of them may just be little clips that I hop on every day. Just to show, like, updates on what I'm working on. Or, um, you know, if I go shopping or yeah, you know, I don't know. They'll be whatever they are. <laughs> Cause making my videos is one way that I like artistically uh what was I gonna say? Express myself. Artistically express myself through sewing and crochet and paper crafting lately when I get a chance to and then videos. So I thought that would count. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I can do it. It's really windy here today. I don't know if you heard that, but we have another wind advisory. We've been having those like crazy lately. But uh, I'm going to hop off here, fix her hair, do something with my hair, and uh, get ready and go on today and do whatever we're doing today. <laughs> but I will see you guys in another video. Let me know down below in the, the comments what you guys are working on, and feel free to share any links and all that stuff. And also let me know if you've ever used puffy paint on crochet and how that worked out. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.